practiced very well, and they both helped us win. And it's not, and that's just one position. I mean, I could go on and on and on about spots like that. Um, so same thing. I get running back this year. I mean, you're not going to play Feaster and Etienne and Adam Choice. Are you kidding me? Uh, these are these are. This is going to be a really special group of running backs. Um, and so you know, sometimes, and maybe it's just somehow how the way that position is. Sometimes there's there's more separation and and, and age and leadership and experience and knowledge and all that and and it never really times up, uh, <clears throat> or guys don't stay, guys you know, aren't patient and they, they move on or whatever. Um, but yeah, I think if you, got, if you got guys that are, this guy's really good, but this guy's really good too, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, but just hasn't really been the case, uh, you know, for us to where we've been able to, to have that, we've always had somebody separate, um, you know. But that doesn't mean that it can't be that way, you know. And who knows? We'll see what happens. Uh, uh, and regardless of what happens, uh, you know, Kelly's 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 gonna have opportunity to play. If if he gets beat out, he, I mean, how are you not gonna play Kelly Bryant? I mean, you don't think he can help us win? Please, Kelly wins the job. Uh, he's coming in as the starter, and and it's on him to to go continue to keep it that way. And, and uh, that's why you go practice every day. Uh, but you got two guys that haven't taken a snap. Well, you got to find a way to get, get somebody in the game sometime to get them some experience. And, and you know, you got to be smart depending on where they are. You know, sometimes you got a guy that you just need to kind of get some experience. You can't wait till game seven, uh, you know, to get run a guy out there and he's hyperventilating. You need to try to find a spot to get him in a game somewhere, uh, you know, not jeopardizing the team or things like that. I mean, but you, and then other times you, you have a situation kind of like we had when with Deshaun was, was, I mean, we came out of camp going, okay, he, he's playing like fourth series, whatever happens. I mean, we gotta, we gotta go play and, and you go from there. Uh, so uh, we'll see how it all plays out. But I, I don't, I'm not opposed to that. I've seen people be very successful. Uh, playing two quarterbacks, uh, but you know we'll, we'll see how it plays out. When, when Deshaun was a freshman, did you have to start to pull stout those uh, first three games? Uh, two Evans, two Tallahassee. Um, this year you got A and M on the road, week two. Um, and I know these are totally different players. And Cole Stout wasn't the returning starter, won the ACC like Kelly is. But was there anything that you learned that season that you might apply uh, this year? Or is it just a totally different situation? For you? Uh, it's a totally different situation. I mean. Uh, I wouldn't change anything about that particular season. Um, and, uh, you know, we going into the game, we were very confident. Uh, we knew we were kind of close. And, you know, we, we uh, didn't win the game there in Athens. Uh, but the next game we kind of played them, you know, I think they played about 50-50 by the time the game was over. And, <clears throat> and then we go into Tallahassee and, and Deshaun kind of separated. I mean, he just took the job and he was ready. Uh, so, you know, I think that, uh, I mean, that's as far as what we learned, uh, that's kind of hard to apply to you know, different people, different quarterbacks, different situations. I mean, at the end of the day, I think the main thing you learn is, is you got to have a, you know, guys have to earn it, and you got to have, uh, especially at that position, you know, you, you've got to, you got to have um, a great system in place as far as, you know, accountability, how you grade. And you know, uh, give guys compete, give guys the opportunity to compete and practice every single day, and then it'll play itself out. And you know, the gap was wider with Cole and Deshaun uh, coming out of spring that year. You know, Deshaun was 180 pounds and you know, coming off a broken collarbone, and and you know, uh, you know, Cole was very settled, and Cole really didn't do it. Cole didn't regress at all. It's just Deshaun just. You know, and that's just what happened. Uh, all of a sudden, he comes back, and by the end of camp, you're like, okay, man, this kid, he's got a chance to be pretty special here. Uh, our schedule was really challenging that year. Obviously, you're going to Athens first game, and then we had a, I don't remember who we played at home, but we had an opportunity to kind of 50 50 them. And then uh, and you're going right into Tallahassee. Uh, but it just, it just kind of worked itself out. And again, I think, I mean, Cole really, in my opinion, didn't regress. And I didn't think he, handled himself 
well after he lost the job as far as not a, as far as just still competing to be the guy, you know. And uh, uh, he wasn't ready in the Georgia Tech game that year when, when Deshaun got hurt. Uh, but he was ready when we played Oklahoma and MVP of the game. So, you know, he, he's, uh, he, he, was a, he was a good player for us. And uh, you know, did a, did a good job uh, in his role here. And, and uh, you know, this situation is very different. It's just it's just not even the same. You've got a closer uh, uh, gap coming out of spring because you know you were able to see everybody uh, in in for a full spring practice. And then uh, you know you've got Chase, who's been here now, uh, has a real good grasp on everything. And and then Trevor has demonstrated. Great aptitude, picking things up. Obviously, he's got a great physical skill set. Uh, so it's exciting, man. I mean, it really is uh, because nobody works harder than Kelly Bryant, and and he's just a winner. He's just a winner. Uh, that's all I can tell you. And you know, uh, I, I, as 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 the head coach, and you know, I'd love I, just seeing a guy and how he's worked and how committed he's been to this program. The type of young person he is. Uh, I'd love to see him win the job, but he's got he's got to I mean he's got to win it, and uh, you know you got to give everybody the opportunity to compete. As I said, you can't you can't uh, say well okay well we did this last year so this just carries over. It doesn't work that way. Uh, it's not the real world. <clears throat> it's not personal or anything like that. You 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 give everybody the opportunity to compete, and then uh, you make decisions as coaches based on what you've seen. And to be honest with you, the players can set the de set the depth chart. There's very, very, very rare times where a player's going, what? You know, uh, it's just, it, it, it's that way in the media a lot of times because you guys don't get to see them every day. You're not in meetings every day. You don't watch all the film. You don't, and if you do, you know, sometimes you don't really know what you're watching as far as what they're being coached to do. Uh, and, and so, you know, it's, but the players know. And uh, so you just, you just go through the process and, and then it all works out. And then whoever wins the job, you still got to go perform. It's not like you have a, a contract for the season, you know. You got to play well, uh, and so it's it's it, that's just to me that's one of the reasons we've been so successful and so consistent as a program is because uh, of what we practice against every day, how we practice the the comp the competition at practice. It's it's a tough day's work every single day, and and we have so many talented guys. Everybody wants to run out there first. Uh, so, you know, obviously that's not going to happen. So can you position yourself to, to be one of those guys that deserves to play? And then when you do play, how do you play? Do you play well? Don't worry about, oh, I only played 10 plays. How about how would you play in those 10 plays? And then let's go from there. So, uh, you know, that's just the way it is. Uh, if, if, you know, anything can happen uh, over the course of the season, I just know that everybody's got to be ready for their opportunity. No question. Have a similar trajectory this offseason to keep the story going? No, I, I, think, I think he just needs to play well in practice. <laughs> he just needs to demonstrate every day that he's the best guy. And again, that's every rep counts. Uh, and, and Streeter does such a great job of, of managing that and, and putting them, making sure they're all in a, in a fair opportunity to, to win the job and compete for the job. But there's no question he made. He made incredible strides from last spring to when he came back in fall camp. Was I really thought it was going to be really tight in August. I really felt like we were going to have, we were in for a real battle. And it just didn't turn out that way. I mean, he, 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 it, we kind of went in and he separated. And I mean, it, it, just, it really wasn't close. Uh, and you got to give him a lot of credit, man. He really worked his tail off. And I promise you, he's done the same thing. But now, he's got a whole different mindset behind it. Uh, he's just got more experience. He's had some success. He's had some failure. Uh, he's very focused. I mean, this kid's got thick skin, uh, you know, because he's he's had to he's had to grind to 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 get to where he is as a quarterback. And uh, so it, it's it's going to be it's going to be quite a battle. Because again, you know, Chase and Trevor. Uh, I mean, they're not going to go away. These are these are two really dynamic and very talented 
very talented young players um, that are going to come out there and compete. But the good news is I really, really, truly believe that we can win with any of those guys, and I don't think we've really had that situation. When I say win, I'm talking about win, compete for the league. Um, and, I, and they're all great young people. I mean, these are, these are great young men. They like each other. Uh, they all get it. You know, we're very transparent. Uh, you know, we, we just put it all on the table. I have my exit meetings with these guys. I mean, I, I just think that's the best way to be and to communicate. Everybody know exactly where they are. That's why we're so thorough in, in how we evaluate, how we grade, because they need that feedback. Uh, and then, hey, let me go see. Go transform this summer. That's what we call it, transformation. And then let's see where you are. So it's, it's going to be exciting uh, because I think you got some very competitive guys um, that uh, – but Kelly has handled the pressure, I mean, very well. Uh, very, very well. I mean, you go back to last year, that kid made some big plays for us in some critical situations. Uh, and uh, he hasn't forgotten that. Uh, and he made some mistakes too. And, and missed some plays and things like that. But that's talking about a first-year guy. Uh, so I expect he'll be much improved. In terms of uh, reps, does losing Hunter benefit Chase the most, or do all three of those guys see more reps? Uh, yeah, all three of them will see more reps. Uh, you know, we, we tried to divvy it up. I mean, we really let them all four compete uh, this spring, moved them around. Uh, we, we, we went to multiple scales. I mean, we had people everywhere trying to – and we did that to really – really evaluate the quarterbacks and, uh, you know, just kind of see how far